Hey everyone, um, it's super hot up here, so sorry if I'm glistening a little bit, but welcome back to my channel. I've got a vibe going on today and I'm not mad about it. Um, today I have a haul for you, but I want to talk about it first before like we dive in and how this haul kind of came about. So um, I just don't have time to source like I did before. There are things that have come up in my life. There are things that I'm doing. There's just stuff, right, that I just don't feel comfortable sharing yet or um, don't want to share on here. But there are things happening. None of it's bad, but there's just things that are happening. And it requires me to do other things instead of going out and sourcing. So I have a wonderful network of reseller friends on Instagram. And I've become very close with so many of you, whether you're here in the YouTube community or on the Instagram community. And I worked my connections, right? Um, I reached out to a fellow reseller. I don't want to name her on here unless she wants to be named. Um, but I have been working with a reseller who lives in another state. Um, who sources way more than me and has the time to source and finds amazing items. So this box that I'm going to show you in a second, um, I just arrived just now, which is why I'm sitting down and I'm doing this. It's a box of stuff that she sourced that I purchased. So basically what I'm trying to say is I have a personal shopper now when it comes to sourcing. And I think this kind of comes with the growing pains of a business that is growing really fast. Um, a business that I've put a lot of work into to grow a certain way for certain financial gains and needs that I have. Um, and I've come to the point now where I've hired someone to source and kind of collect things and then show me and we make a box and we have a, a rate that we have agreed upon and uh, a shipping that we've agreed upon and, and kind of go from there. So you will get more of these types of videos once I kind of get my feet a little more wet with it and feel more comfortable talking about it on here. I will definitely share with all you guys what my process was with this, what type of items I'm looking for, like what all that kind of looks like. But the real reason why we're here is to see the stuff that's in the box. Some of this is going to need some cleaning or some uh, detail work, right? Which I'm okay with because the cost is really low, even with the shipping. So shipping, I paid a little over $30 for this box. But when I factor that into my cost of goods and how much everything costs me, it, my cost of goods is actually less than when I go sourcing here in my state. So very happy with all that. I'm going to pick up this box and show you it. Hold on. I hope I don't knock the camera over. I have like a really weird setup right here. There's like totes and stuff. If you fall over, I'm so sorry. We're going to cut that right out and we'll come right back. Okay. So here's the box. We are going to open her up. Okay. We have opened the box. There's a note here. Now she did say she gave me some extra pieces. So I'm going to read this note really quickly. Oh, okay. So basically all it says, I'll leave out her name. Uh, Daniela, thank you so much for doing this with me. I hope you love selling these items. We should do this again. P.S. I added a couple of extra things, which is very sweet of her. And I get a free blue lemon bag, which looks better than that. All right, let's see. We're going to start right out here. Okay, nice. This is some of the free pieces that she's obviously giving to me. This is a Ted Baker London. It's just a t-shirt. Um, I'm going to assume that this is, this is women's, not men's. It's a size three. I, I will sell this. This will be an easy, quick sale. Is it actually in really good condition? Really good condition. Um, let me preface it by saying this. If you want anything, send me a DM on Instagram. Everything's linked down below. We'll figure something out. Because my cost of these are, is really good, so I can definitely give everyone a good deal. Um, what are you? Whatever you are, you're very pretty. Um... Moulin Stores, I think this is Anthropology. This is very pretty. This will definitely sell. It's got this pretty ruffled, tiered hem here. Very pretty. Okay, cool. We like it. And then, what are you? Okay, got Bailey44 here. 
this will definitely sell too. This is that time of year where dresses like that will sell. Nice little cute freebie pieces that I was not anticipating. Okay, first up, I know what this is. This is gonna need a little bit of rehab and I'm totally okay with doing it. Um, but this is a mulberry, can you see that? Mulberry messenger bag. It is leather, it is beautiful. It's actually in really great condition. There's just one spot that needs assistance and that would be right here. See how the piping's coming out? Um, I, I, I've done this before with a Chloe bag, so I can definitely fix this piping and um, I, can, I can repair this. It's gonna take a little bit of work, but I can do it. So I'm excited about this. I might actually use this for work. I don't need to, but if I wanted to, I could use it for work. So this, I'm very excited about. I have no idea what any of this stuff's gonna give me. I didn't do any like, deep dive tip of research. I just kind of went with things that I knew I could sell that I have really good luck with. Next up is this, oh, where are you? Right here. Mark by Mark Jacobs hobo bag. It's got a crossbody, also in very good condition. The interior is great. There is like nowhere in there. Very excited about that one. Um, oh, everything came in zip box. Oh, you're a good girl if you're watching. You put everything in a Ziploc bag, so I don't even need to use my own. This is wonderful. Oh, okay. These are Tory Burch. I'm only going to grab one out, but these are a Tory, Tory Burch moto style um, boot. These are a size 7, medium, so 7M. Um, these, these will do really well. I'm really starting to focus on fall and winter gear. A lot of my online sourcing has been focused on that as well. A lot of my in-store um, sourcing has been, I really wanna get ready, get all this stuff listed so we're good to go for quarter four. These are in great condition. There's just a little bit of mink oil right in here and they'll be good to go. Next up, I don't generally like surprises, but this really isn't a surprise. I just, I saw photos of the pieces, but like I didn't really see too many details. There's a little bit of surprise to this. Pleasant surprises, I should say. Um, oh, there's two things in here. Okay, this first one is a Dolce & Gabbana skirt. It is faux leather. We like her. Oh, well, okay. She's actually not leather. I think she's supposed to give a sheen like leather. See that? The color, my coloring is really weird because of this, but um, it's, it's not. It's... I don't know what it is, but it's got an interesting feel to it. Um, everything looks like it's in really good shape. Oh, someone hemmed this. Okay. I see you. I can unhem that. That's easy enough. Okay. A little work on that one. Not a big deal. Next, we have, oh, this is going to be a fun one to list. This is Burberry London, size extra large. It's a polo. This is definitely men's. I don't know why the color on here is so weird, but here you go. Sorry, guys. For whatever reason, I don't have my ring lights set up, so maybe that's why the color is a little off. And I apologize for that. Uh, next up is a Patagonia Cinchilla. These, this, they always sell. So that's like a bread and butter for me. This is the Latory Birch boot. And we have, what are you, I honestly don't remember what any of these pieces are. Isn't that awful? Oh, this is Moth. I actually do really well with Moth sweaters. Moth is a brand, sub-brand of anthropology. I do really well with them. Um, and I really liked this colorway. I loved the knitting of this one. This will do really well. Do you guys do well with moth? I feel like that's one of the few anthropology like house brands that tends to do really well for me that I know that I can sell. That's what I should say. Um, Angel of the North doesn't do well for me. There's a few of them, but moth is definitely one that I do do well with. Oh, these are Uggs and these are in really great condition. Again, um, getting everything ready for fall and winter time. And we have a pair of Levi's. What are you? 
These are Levi's men's waist 38, length is 32. I don't know what these, I don't, I don't remember. Oh, these have like a wide flared leg kind of thing, which is why I went for them in their high rise. I gotta do a little research on this. I think these are 90s. Let's see, let's look at the tag. Are you 90s or early 2000? I forget how to read the tag. Isn't this awful? We did a whole episode on this on Thrifters Villa and I'm gonna have to go back and listen to it because I don't remember. Oh, 97. 97. So these were made in 97. So they are classified as vintage. I'm going to get these bad boys listed as soon as I can. Um, here's the tab. It's, I don't know if anyone knows. It's, this isn't an orange tag. It's like a, I don't know, a brown tag. I don't, I don't know. I don't know men's Levi's. I know women's Levi's. I don't know men's. So I do a little bit of research on that one. And then we have another pair of shoes. Oh, these are Paul Green. Uh, the... Like I said, the price on these are really good. And I thought these were really cute for this time of year. These are a size nine, that's upside down. I really liked these. It reminded me of a free people sandal that I saw recently in the thrift store. Really nice, great condition. I like the straps. I like the little strappy straps. I wonder if this will fit me. No, they look a little narrow for me, but these are really nice. Paul Green, I feel like they're having a moment again. Do you feel this, Wags? I do. I feel like Paul Green is having a moment. They kind of fizzled a little bit, and I feel like they're coming back because a lot of their styles are very Y2K or vintage, and I, I feel like the peeps want that now. I don't know. Um, what are you? That's awful. I don't remember anything. Oh, these are Giuseppe Zanotti. Um, I just need to clean the foot bed a little bit, but... These are very nice, very nice. These are size 39, 39. That was a 30 and a half, just 39. We're gonna fix those up and send those in. I think with a little peroxide and baking soda, I'll be able to clean this up pretty well. I don't know if I'll get that all off, but I'll get some of that off. And lastly, we have a pair of Vince leather platform, I don't know, platform loafer. These are the leather, did I say that? Yeah, I did. White leather. These are a size 10. These are in great, they're not coming up as white, but they're white. You just, you, it doesn't look like it in here, but these are white. I just got to clean up the, um, the platform piece of it, this rubber styrofoamy feeling. I'm not going to try them on. Here's the thing with Vince. I'm like a, I'm a size 40 in most European sizing. However, with Vince, a 39 would fit me if their width was just a little more forgiving. Um, they do run long, I feel like, but just not wide. But there's that. I've sold similar styles frequently of Vince like this. Um, yeah, so that's everything. This is a really short, there's tape stuck to my foot. <laughs> This is a short video, but um, I just, I got excited to show you guys this and I'm excited for this journey to see what will become of this and having someone shop for me. I mean, I picked out most of this stuff. There are a few pieces that um, she threw in for me, which I'm very thankful for. Um, I, I paid, I paid, how much did I pay for you? $90 for everything, which I think is really fair. Um, I think that's a really fair price because I can spend $90 on one thing. <laughs> so I think this is a super fair price. I'm excited to see where this goes. I would definitely update you guys as we go along and see what other boxes come in, the things she finds that I can buy off of her and not have to source. Also, before I go, I have a surplus of items coming in from the real real that I may have sourced over the last few days, but they're so good. These pieces are so exciting to me and I can't wait to share them all with you. And I'll definitely share my strategies. This will definitely be the video where I share my sourcing strategies on the real real and show you the pieces that I get and how I kind of stay on top of it and figure out what's worth getting, what's not worth getting, what, what is a good brand to kind of test the waters with all that kind of fun stuff. So stay tuned for that. That'll probably be in the next two weeks or so because 
a lot of the pieces are probably not going to get here for another two weeks. Um, yes, anxiously awaiting for all those. There's one piece in particular that I cannot wait to share with all of you because it was such a steal. It should be illegal. It should have never happened, but it did. And I'm hoping that they ship it and it wasn't a mistake on their end. So fingers crossed on that. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to go. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.